Kelvy, your first start for over a year in the Premier League on, on Saturday. How was it for you? Um, yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was nice. It was something that uh, I've been working on for some time, making sure that you know, when, the, uh, when the opportunity presents itself, that uh, you know, to be ready and, and hopefully to contribute in a, in a positive way for the, for the team and for the club. It was obviously disappointment come the end of it. What were your reflections on the game overall? Um, well, it was uh, you know, it wasn't the best game of football I've, I've ever played in, that's for sure. And uh, I think after um, international break, it's it's always uh, tough for, for those lads that have been here, there, and everywhere to to, to put in a high level performance. So um, I think before we went into the game, you know, we'd have uh, would have certainly taken. Um, you know, uh, a boring win, if you like, away with us. But it turned out we uh, everything we we managed to uh, to do wasn't enough. So um, disappointment, but um, you know, not a not the sort of performance that um, you know didn't warrant anything. Uh, we was unlucky maybe to come away with a point, but you know that's um, that's the Premier League, and it's about what we do this week, preparing for for Hull on Saturday. And how has that response been in training from the group? Yeah, I think um, we've, we've, we've been very good, not just this season, but in previous seasons, about putting defeats and, and negative behind us and um, you know, look forward next to the next game. And you know, this, this week's been no different. It's almost highlighted the, the fine margins, especially in the Premier League, with those saves from Tim Howard in the first half and, and Prowse's free kick, just, just going against us in, on that afternoon. Yeah, and, and that, that can happen, certainly, you know, Away from home, it's uh, it's always tough. Um, you know, there there is no such thing as an easy game in the Premier League. You know, you, you can make it easier for yourself, but um, you know, it was uh, it was one of those games that if it had finished nil nil um, after the the week with internationals, I think both teams kind of okay, job done, move on to the next. But uh, you know, they they certainly um, you know with with their celebrations after the game, you knew that. Uh, they understood that um, it was a big three points for them. Since the last time we spoke, we've obviously had the disappointing news about Fraser Forster's injury. I know how close you are to him. How did that affect you, the, the news that he'd be out for so long? Well, I think um, you know, even going on in the Burnley game, well, my thoughts were, were straight away with, with him. Um, obviously, I, you know, you, you're concentrating on the game, what's in front of you, but when you've got them a couple of minutes, yeah, it does pop in your head. And not, not just for Fraser, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, it's, I'm... Fraser's a great lad and he's a, he's a great professional. Um, but with any of your teammates, you know, who, who picks up a, an injury and certainly an injury that's going to put you out for for some time, um, you know, it's not um, it's not something you in, you know you take any enjoyment out of. You, you understand, you know, to to play football, it's what you've done, always done, and um, you know, it's an injury that stops you from from doing what you love and enjoy. It's uh, it's difficult, but. He's been in. He's uh, he's been in the last few days, and uh, you know, back in amongst the amongst the lads, and uh, in the dressing room, and you know, eating and, and communicating, and you know, trying to trying to keep his spirits up. And he he knows that um, he's in very safe hands here, and it comes to the medical department. Um, you know, always looking for ways to improve, and um, you now I'm sure he'll come back fitter and stronger. The injury has obviously presented you with this opportunity in in the first team. How much are you relishing these final games of the season? Um, yeah, I, obviously um, you don't. You, you try and take each game as it comes. Um, you don't take anything for granted. We've still got you know, two goalkeepers as well as myself at the club that are fit and ready to go in, in Paolo and Cody. So um, you know, I, I don't don't sit there um, thinking I've got a divine right to to start and play. So um, I try to train hard, work hard, and, and stay focused on on my job and, and doing well for the. For the team and for the club, and, you know, I think I've spoke before about stages in careers. Um, I'm certainly in, at that stage of my career where, um, in the Premier League, you know, to stay fit and, if called upon, um, contribute to the uh, to the club, then that's what I want to do. You have mentioned in the past about that milestone that's just around the corner. Have you thought about that at all? Um, well. I certainly didn't think think about it uh, last week, you know, at the, with the Burnley game, and of course it was then mentioned in the week, and and that obviously then popped into my head. Um, and I, as I stand in now, I, you know, 
I kind of always felt that I would get there and you know until I'm there um, I'm, you know, I've got nothing to celebrate but um, again I don't like to put too much uh, mm. weight on it um, and, and too much em em emphasis on it because um, you know, if, I, if I do get to that stage and we go and get turned over I won't be coming off the pitch happy you know so it's um, yeah, it's something probably at the end of your career you look back on and, and whatever I achieve I achieve and um, I'm just looking at the next game I know it's a cliche but for me it makes total sense at, at this stage and staying fit keep contributing for the boys and um, if that milestone comes it comes that next game is of course Hull City and that really presents an opportunity especially at home to bounce back from last weekend yep um, it's a home game we've set our standards at home um, Hull will absolutely will not be uh, a walkover um, we, we know the challenge that uh, that we're going to face there um, and you know anyone that, that from the dressing room or or supporting the club or in and around the, the club you know believe that we're going to turn up and and walk all over them you know it's not going to happen that's our aim obviously that's what we work for uh, the manager's very diligent in, in his preparation for the game um, and we will be very very well prepared um, and I'm sure Hull will be doing their their best to, to have a plan against us so um, with the games remaining um, it's all there for us you know we're uh, we're very determined to to finish in in them top positions in the league um, and until the end of the season comes we, we won't know whether we've achieved it they have of course been dragged into that relegation battle in recent weeks will they present a different opposition to what you may have expected a few weeks ago because of that and their, their desperation to survive um, yeah I think that uh, you know we've seen it before when when teams um, get in that position they can throw out a, a performance that, that turns leagues upside down and um, you know not just in our division in all divisions and we know that um, you know they've got players that can that can produce um, those kind of performances those kind of uh, Little bits of magic in a game that that can that can turn a game. So um, we uh, we need to make sure that uh, you know, we use our our players and our strengths and uh, don't give them anything to uh, to take home. You spoke after you came off the pitch in that game against Burnley about the support you'd received from the fans. How important will they be, not just to yourself but to the whole team between now and the end of the season? Well, um, it's important that uh, you know they understand. We we want. We want them them top finishes in in the league or that top finish in the league like like they do, um, and, and we need to sort of keep our heads on the pitch and and they can actually contribute to that. You know, they they're not uh, they're not silly. They they understand uh, that it's a fantastic position for the club to be in, um, and with their support, you know, making sure that uh, right to the last minute they're behind us. Um, we can't go wrong. With with your experience in the game, what can you provide the rest of the group and perhaps some of the younger players between now and the end of the season? Because it is such a, a big time for the club. Well, I hope um, you know try and stay calm and stay focused. And if I see, you know, and if any of the lads see something they're not happy with and they they don't believe is right, then to to speak. And you know, it's one thing I've learned in my career, certainly playing, is. Um, you know, if if you if you have a, a belief or a thought and you don't share it, um, then you, you're letting yourself down, and then you're letting the team down because um, you're doing it because you want the best for the for the team, the best for the club, and and, and when you play in a team and it's a team sport, you you've got to be able to um, air your views and in, in, in the right way, and and um, that's what I'll be looking to do, and and hope that uh, the lads um, benefit from that.